What's up? It's good to see you, 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 and you again. And it's also good to see all you new faces. Today, we will be continuing on our journey to find the lamb source. And for us to do that, we will have to take a closer look at the next mother source, that being Velute. Velute! Now it's technically considered a white sauce, but the variation we're doing today is a bit browner because of the stock we're using. So if you're a bit confused as to why the sauce is darker than what you remembered, this is basically why. Other than that, there really isn't much else to say. So in today's video, we make Velute. Making a velouté is potentially easier and more forgiving than making a bechamel. All you need is 20 grams of flour, 20 grams of butter, and some stock. No, not that kind of stock. Ah, much better. We'll need 400 grams. We're using beef stock here, but you can use good old chicken or fish stock. Or just use vegetable stock if you're making something vegetarian. Begin by placing your pan over medium to low heat. Toss in your butter and let it melt. Next, pour in your flour and whisk it. What we're making is a blonde roux. Cook it up for about a minute or so, or until it looks like wet sand. One thing I recommend is to always use unsalted butter for cooking. This gives you a lot more control over how salty your food is. Slowly pour in your cool or cold stock and whisk to combine. You always want to use a cold stock if your roux is hot and vice versa. This keeps your sauce lump free. If you come across a recipe that says otherwise, well, politely put it where it belongs, in the trash. Bring your sauce up to a boil, reduce the heat, and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. How do you know your sauce is done? By using our extremely scientific spoon test. Dip your spoon in and do this. If the sauce leaves a clear line, you're basically good to go. Also, keep in mind that as it cools, it will thicken a bit, because science. Give it a quick taste, adjust for seasoning, and ta-da, you have made a velouté. Don't worry if you have a few lumps in it because you can always just strain it later. Also, for obvious reasons, the quality and type of stock used will impact the flavour and overall saltiness of your sauce, so keep that in mind. Now that you know how to make a velouté, let's get a bit fancier. Finely dice half an onion and sweat it off in some olive oil. Since we're not making a white sauce for chicken or fish, a bit of colour won't do any harm. When your onions are semi-translucent, pour in about 150 milliliters of white wine. I'm using a fairly low quality bottle over here, but if you feel like using your best bottle of wine, then go for it. I personally wouldn't recommend doing it, but you are the sommelier of your Chardonnay. Next, reduce the liquid by about 75%. This intensifies the flavor and also cooks off the alcohol. Pour in your velouté and whisk to combine. Add some freshly chopped rosemary and a little bit of black pepper. Simmer it for about 5 minutes so the flavours can get to know each other and you're basically done. Taste for seasoning, strain the sauce and proceed to serve it on whatever you like. Here, it's going on some beautifully cooked miso pork but it also goes really well with other red meats. And there you have it, how to make velouté as well as a variation of a white wine sauce. Now a white wine sauce is usually made using fish or chicken stock. This is because the resulting sauce ends up being white and that's what restaurants usually want when it comes to serving sauces with fish or chicken. Also, because a velouté is a mother sauce, you can finish it in different ways to end up with different kinds of resulting sauces. Some people add things such as egg yolks, cream, lemon juice, other herbs, things of that nature, and this would result in sauces such as a alamande or a supreme sauce or some other sort of variation. As usual, you should go out there and experiment with different kinds of ingredients, maybe different vinegars, tarragon vinegar, balsamic vinegar, maybe add red wine instead, different herbs such as thyme. I guess we have rosemary in this video, you could add chives maybe, maybe even Dijon mustard. That's all up to you. But but as long as you know how to make the mother sauce, well, you have a bit more room to play around and to experiment. But that's all for today. 
If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, remember to like, subscribe, and to share the video. We are almost at 500, which is pretty neat. But once I hit 1,000, I can live stream things, I guess, if I'm not wrong. Maybe we'll find out when we hit 1,000. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other dishes you like to see, what other products you like me to review, or what other recipes you would like to learn. Also, let me know if you enjoyed the previous video, which was the coffee ASMR. If you're into that sort of thing, maybe I'll do more of that in future. But for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching and I will see you beautiful people in the next video.